Alright, what's going on, people? Look, um, rapper Bootsy Badass has been shot in the leg. Uh, allegedly, he has been reported by TMZ. As you all may know, the rapper M. Mo3 was killed in Dallas just the other day. Now, I think Bootsy Badass was. Um, Mo3 was signed to Bootsy Badass label. And so uh, Bootsy Badass, he's actually out of Atlanta now. He was in Louisiana, but he had to leave Louisiana because of the violence. He went to Atlanta. And so there was a tribute going on for Mo3 in Dallas. And I believe Mo3 was signed to Bootsy Badass label. And um, it's being reported that his Sprinter van, you know, those guys right around those Sprinter vans was shot up and uh, Bootsy was shot in the leg. Uh, that's what's being reported. And of course, King Von, another rapper, got killed in Atlanta. Like a day before Mo3 got killed. And I guess what's what's troubling to me is, is the amount of killings and shootings that we are collectively doing to ourselves. And I know I grew up in Detroit. I live in Detroit. Uh, I know the situation in Chicago. And us killing each other has been going on for a long time. A very long time. I mean, I know instances, situations where uh, somebody get killed, young guy get killed, they have his funeral, and then the funeral get shot up. You know, and it's, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I mean, what, what is the solution? You know, people say, well, jobs. You know, uh, social, economical situation that people are in. Uh, some people even go back to slavery as far as hating ourselves, you know. Um, then some people say, well, hey, maybe we need to, um, maybe we need to issue tighter, stronger gun control. And that's a crazy argument because I think like Chicago and D.C., they have like the strongest gun control laws around, you know. And that doesn't seem to do any good. And, um, and of course, when the stars, the major entertainers, when they get shot or get killed, everybody's talking about it. But, I mean, every day in every major metropolitan city, how many people are getting shot and killed? How many people are getting shot and, 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 and dying over what? Senseless violence. Rap beefs, arguments, you know, so just a messed up situation. I like to know what do you all think the answer is? You know, what's what what is the solution? What is the solution to the gun violence? Uh regarding Bootsy Badass, as I get more information, I'll definitely share. Uh and Bootsy Badass, he's an old cat. Um those King Von, uh, those guys look young, uh, mid-20s, 26, 27. Mo3, what, 28? Yeah, Bo Bootsy Badass, he, he's been around for a while. And uh, he's he's not a young guy. I guess he, he would be considered kind of an old head, you know. Uh, but anyway, definitely messed up situation. Because so many lives, so many lives are taken, so many lives are lost over nothing, over BS, over words. Because folks don't fight no more. When I was growing up in the 80s, well, um, yeah, I grew up in the mid 80s. I was about to say, we didn't, we didn't, we just fight. You know, you fought, you lose, you got your butt kicked, you come back, and uh, the next day you fight again. But actually, in the mid 80s, 
we actually started the shooting, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, yeah, we started, yeah. In mid 80s, we weren't doing too much fighting, we were doing more shooting. But now it's just like it's all shooting. You know? But anyway, just a crazy situation. Love to hear what y'all think about it. I am on my way down south. Down south, down south, down south. I'm going through um, Nashville in Memphis. I wish it was vacation. No, nah, actually, I wouldn't be traveling anywhere. But uh, got to make this money. Because this COVID thing is, uh, COVID thing is all screwed up, ain't it? It's getting worse. It's getting worse. But this job was on the books, and um, I'm going to get it done, and get out of here, and get back home, stay away from people, and keep it moving. Well, hell, I done talked about COVID and gun violence. I can't monetize it. Y'all want to hear some music? <laughs> I can't, the hell, my music's on my phone, right? Anyway, hey, right, y'all. Be safe, man. Watch yourself. Be wise about your moves. Especially my age group, you know, shit, we liable to get caught up in some crossfire. But, you know, seriously, I don't, I, I, I don't get my gas. Hell, I try to be in the house by nighttime under normal circumstances. And it, it's funny because I used to laugh. I used to laugh at the old years when I was younger. You know, I'd be going out, hanging out, going to the after house club. This is when I was in my 20s. And um, coming home 2 or 3 in the morning. But now, man, I try to be in the house before sunsets. <laughs> I'm not trying to get caught up in no mess. And, and I have a CPL. I, I'm le I legally carry. But I don't want to try to explain myself or spend money trying to beat a court case or trying to prove my innocence, you know. So really when you do, well, actually when you do carry, if you have a CPL, which is concealed pistol license in uh, Michigan, you really have to be more uh, restrained and actually it's more kind of a burden to make sure you don't overreact or more kind of a burden to make sure you're not in a situation than um, if you weren't caring. Because sometimes people put their gun on their hip and they get feeling like they're Superman, you know, and go anywhere. But actually, when that, when you got your gun on you, that's even more of a reason to try to avoid and um, make sure you're not in situations but things could possibly jump off. But anyway, those are my thoughts. I think I'll tune in to um, the B sector, help keep me up while I'm driving. Y'all have a good night. Catch you around the way, later.